Fisk Brothers Refining Company doing business as Luber Plate was founded in 1870. We're the oldest independent lubricant manufacturer uh, in the United States, and we're going to be celebrating our 150th anniversary in 2020, which is pretty awesome. Fisk Brothers has been in business since 1870. Fisk Brothers started it making wagon wheel grease in New York City and then moved their operation to uh, Newark, New Jersey. Fisk Brothers moved to Ohio because of its proximity to the automotive industry. Our legacy is really important um, and something that we're really proud of. All of our greases and oils are manufactured here, and this is also our main distribution center, so everything's shipped out both domestically and internationally here from Toledo. We make approximately 8 million pounds of oil per year and approximately 5 plus million pounds of grease per year. We bring the oils in via a transport or a rail car. They're put into our bulk raw material tanks. From those tanks, we have a couple oil kettles for manufacturing. We have dedicated lines from the bulk oil tanks where we will weigh up a certain amount of oil. The oils are blended together with raw materials. Once the batch is complete, that batch is pumped to our oil room where it will be packaged. After that batch is pumped to the oil room, we pig that line to prevent it from contaminating any other oil batches that might be pumped through that same line. So after we make an oil batch, we would take a sample to our lab and have them analyze that to make sure that it meets all the specifications that we put on our data sheets. It's a very unique uh, place in that, you know, we have been here so long in this location that you still have some of the old manufacturing equipment with some of the state-of-the-art brand new manufacturing equipment. Uh, we're able to turn around orders much more quickly um, and we're able to control our processes much better, which helps with our ISO certifications and also the, the quality of the product that we put out for the end users. With the grease process, we weigh up our raw materials in our bulk oil facility. Then those oils are pumped into our grease kettles. We agitate those batches with counter-rotating agitation. We heat the kettle through a jacket on the kettle with thermal fluid. Once it hits the set point temperature, then at that point we will begin to add hand adds to the batch. Once that's done, uh, we will mill the batch to give it a nice homogeneous texture and disperse all the additives. In making greases, there are reactions, which is part I like being a chemist. In lubricants, we use certain additives like sulfur phosphorus, zinc phosphorus, and all of those compounds. They are put in to impart anti-friction property, or EP, we call it, extreme pressure property. You don't see it, but there is a tenacious layer on top of the metallic parts. If you put pressure on it, that tenacious little film is the cushion that additives offer to protect the metal. After that, we grade the batch, and once the batch is in grade, we'll pull it out of those grease kettles. Most of our greases are white to show their purity, but we do have some greases that we put a dye into the batch, and that's done at the end of the process. After we've cooked a grease batch, we take samples to our lab for QC checks and make sure that it meets our quality specifications. At that point, we'll put in our additives and then finish grading the batch to make sure it meets the specifications. Well, that's something that's very unique to Luberplate in that every batch is tested in-house. It may be tested multiple times throughout that cooking process. We'll be testing for the viscosity, the look at the colorization of the product, the fluidity of it, and then also the, the chemical makeup. We've been partners with Motion since the late 70s. Motion currently is our largest distributor. It's a relationship that we value very much. And you know, we have a local Motion branch here in Toledo, Ohio. So as Motion relies on us, we rely on Motion to keep our plant moving as well.